Hello YouTuber Reservoir Warrior here with a video I've actually wanted to do quite some time now and that's uh, basically a, um, a video on my Game Boy Advance uh, collection. I got back into collecting Game Boy Advance games I want to say beginning of the year. I made one purchase on GameStop's website for I think it was like seven games uh, last month towards uh, midway through the month I want to say. I bought um, seven more games, and then the other week I bought eight more games, which um, costed a lot of money because I got some heavy hitters, and the reason why I was able to do that is because I took advantage of their uh, trading deal that was going on. I even, got, I even traded in my 1S because I don't really play it anymore, and um, no, I'm, I'm honestly glad I did that. So I'm going to show everything off, but real quick. Um, sorry you didn't see my Retro Game Treasure Box. Uh, just for some reason, uh, my file got corrupted. So I will show what I got in there, though. I did get five games. I got, uh, Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects, which I'll probably play... Eh, maybe after this recording or after, uh, Smackdown is over. We'll see. Uh, where's that DS game? They get GoldenEye 007, which I didn't even know they made on the DS. I got Tecmo Bowl, which is pretty cool. And I actually like how this plays more than the uh, NES version, oddly enough. And then I did get two Game Boy Advance games, although honestly they are lackluster. It's kind of an okay month uh, this time around. But I'm not mad or anything cause, because of all the uh, Game Boy Advance games I bought in August anyway. Did I say July earlier? I meant August. Wow. So we have a Minority Report, which uh, is a movie game. And then we have Quad Desert Fury, which I feel like you'll you see a lot in uh, Game Boy Advance slots on uh, eBay. So I guess to start off the video there, there are two uh, Game Boy Advance games. And then I'll probably go with the not-so-exciting titles, which are these uh, six up here. Uh, the only Game Boy Advance game I'm missing is my copy of Sacred Stones, which I know is somewhere in my house. I'm pretty sure it's on the bottom of one of the uh, boxes in the basement. So I really hope I can find that, even though I know it needs a new battery. It's one of the few uh, games I own that actually needs a new battery. It's that Golden Crystal, wherever I find it. But I know all three are in the same box. Because I remember uh, one time when I was looking for certain cards in the basement, they were in a box. And I said, oh, don't forget to take them out, and I forgot to take them out, because knowing me, I'm going to forget where they are again, and hey, that was the case. Just like my playmats, which is why I haven't done that playmat video yet. Like, this one was lost for a while, actually. But I'm glad I found this mat again. Absolutely love it. Anyway, so we got this from a, um, whatchamacallit, Retro Game Treasure Box. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Uh, this is one of the, uh... Five Game Boy Advance games that I've still uh, kept with me. There's a Season of Ice, Pac-Man Collection, and then Mario Pinball Land. Those are all from my younger days. That and Sacred Stones are the only uh, Game Boy Advance games that survived. Others I've either lost or sold. Then we have uh, X-Men Reign of Apocalypse. And I'm trying to think what else I got from... What I didn't get from GameStop. Oh yeah, I guess these are uh, GameStop's website. These next three games I got off eBay. These are my only three reproduct reproduc reproduction cartridges, which I know people are iffy about. Some people like them, some people don't. In the case of uh, more expensive games, I uh, really do like it. And then in the case of uh, Pokemon ROM hacks, it's pretty cool. So here's Pokemon uh, Vega, which is a pretty hard game actually. But I'm enjoying it. I do want to get Glazed Liquid Crystal. And I think there are a couple other, one, other ones that are on reproduced cartridges that I would like to have. Just makes it easier to play. Because you don't have to go scrambling online looking for the files. And then downloading and making sure it works and whatnot. And then I have Metroid Fusion on a uh, blue cartridge. As well as Metroid Zero Mission. These games are on the expensive side. And... That's partially the reason why I got them on these cart uh, blue car blue reproduct reproduced cartridges. Another reason why is I just thought the blue looked really cool with uh, the stickers and whatnot. 
And then another game I might get on a reproduced uh, cartridge is uh, Metal Slug on the Game Boy Advance, just because that regular version is so hard to find. And if you do, I believe it is kind of up there in price. We have uh, Sonic Advance 2, which I actually found on a, uh, which I found on my local GameStop. Uh, Banjo and Kazooie's Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. I feel like a lot of people forget this game exists. I do want to get Banjo Pilot too, or I should say as well. <laughs> then we have a uh, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man Battle Chip Challenge. Um, I could have also ordered, uh, what you call it. This is off GameStop's website as well. The only other game in this entire lot that was not from GameStop's website is um, one RPG game I'll show when we get to it. And uh, actually, both are RPGs. I oh, know. Uh, there, there are two more eBay purchases, one of which is uh, Duel Masters, uh, Kaijudo's Showdown, which I did get... Um, New in box, except the box wasn't in the greatest shape. I still have the box somewhere. I just uh, put it away uh, very quickly in a box because I had friends over uh, this past Sunday. So, I know that's somewhere. And then I bought this on eBay, as is actually in the case and all. That's a sort of mana. So, it was really cool to get this uh, complete in box. My winning big bid wasn't too bad on that, actually. And I'll show the cartridge eventually. We'll get to it. I have all my RPGs set aside. Uh, but yeah, that Duel Masters game was cheap, uh, new in box, and it did come with the uh, booster pack, which I did open in a video, if you guys remember. I forgot how many... I, I feel like that was a couple months ago. Anyway. So yeah. Here we have uh, Lady Sia, which is a game I've actually always wanted. Heard a bit about it. Thought it'd be a fun game to play. Um, t -t -t -t. oh yeah, what I was going to say about Mega Man, um, let me know what Battle Network game I should get, because I really, uh, I, I don't know where to start, should I start with the original, should I get the second, which I think is more on the expensive side as well, I don't know, I do have two Yu-Gi-Oh games, I have Seven Trials to Glory, which I've always wanted to own, um, uh, obviously never had it till now, and my friend Brandon told me this is a really, uh, it's a fun game. And then this one I always played on, uh, I always played the ROM for, and that's uh, GX Duel Academy, so I'm very happy to have a, finally a physical version of this. I do want to get Sacred Cards as well, except I want to buy that uh, new, uh, only because that is the one Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy Advance game I did own, and I would love to have those promos again, even though they're not worth a crazy amount, just, just the nostalgia. And then we have uh, F-Zero GP Legend. That was from my first uh, Game Boy Advance order from GameStop. It's kind of funny how they package them. They pretty much package them in, like, uh, um, Ziploc bags, pretty much. It's funny, but every game I've gotten from them has been working properly, and I've had no issues. And almost always the sticker is in uh, pretty good shape. And then here we have F-Zero Maximum Velocity, which is, ac which is actually the first Game Boy Advance game I've ever owned. So yeah, this one actually survived. Oh, I forgot. This is another game that uh, survived. It took me a long time to find this game in my basement, but I'm glad I did. A lot of good memories with this game. Absolutely love it. And then one of my more recent pickups, uh, Warrior Land 4. Never owned any of the Warrior Land games. I've only played one of them. Uh, but thought that'd be pretty fun. And I am enjoying it so far. I've only done the first couple levels, but... And you guys have seen this before. This is a uh, Kirby Nightmare Dreamland, a uh, Japanese version. I got in Retro Game Treasure box. Was this my second or third box? And then I finally did get Amazing Mirror. Had tons of fun with this game, obviously. Solo or with friends, that game's a lot of fun. And uh, so far, this is the only Super Mario Advance game I own. I had them all. I had all four when I was younger, but. Uh, Rebot Super Mario World does have some sticky substance, substance on the sticker, though. So I gotta get that off. Oh, we have uh, Mario Golf Advanced Tour, which I really enjoy. Love all the Mario Golf games. In my opinion, there hasn't been a bad one. 
Even the 3DS one was per, uh, not too bad. Hopefully we get one on the Switch. I doubt we're going to see a Mario Sports game in tomorrow's Direct, but that'd be awesome. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. I think it's 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, I want to say. And basically what they're going to talk about that is... I think it's about 40 minutes. It's going to be a lot of Sword and Shield, Luigi's Mansion 3. We'll probably find out which uh, what our next Smash Bros. character is. And uh, if, if you didn't hear, they uh, kind of leaked out the company it would be from, and that's SNK. So we're all th assuming it's going to be King of Fighters character, which is going to be awesome. I was hoping it was either Atlas or SNK, so really happy with that. And then here's a Mario Tennis Power Tour, which is fun as well. Works a lot better than you would think on the uh, Game Boy Advance. And of course, maybe my favorite Mario Kart? Uh, Super Circuit. I feel like everyone who owns a Game Boy Advance has this game, and this is another one you see frequently in, uh, whatchamacallit, in lots. And then here's uh, Sword of Mana. And here's uh, maybe a game not many of you are familiar with, uh, Super Robot Tyson Original Generation. Big Atlas fan, big Gundam fan, so of course this made sense for me to pick up. This one I actually got three weeks ago now. I want to say at a local GameStop, and that's Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I used to never be a Kingdom Hearts fan. I only played the first one because my cousin Jonathan had it. And then uh, months ago, my friend Chris took me to see the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra, and that was, that was beautiful. I actually bought the CD, and uh, it made me want to play Kingdom Hearts games. So I'm like, oh, let me go with Chain of Memories. And then... Uh, when I finally buy a new charger and uh, battery for my PSP, I'm going to get PSP games. I'm going to get Final Fantasy Type-0 as well, because I always wanted to play that. Plus, that's probably uh, it's one of the deck ideas I have for uh, uh, Final Fantasy card game. Next game is a game I have actually should have owned. Never owned it. It's pretty sad, considering I'm such a huge Fire Emblem fan, and that's uh, the original. Blazing Sword, whatever you want to call it. I don't know why there was a little piece of hair there. Oh, boy. <laughs> Probably for me scratching so much. That's funny. Anyway. And then uh, let's continue on with uh, Intelligent Systems. Kind of a forgotten dead franchise. I both Advance Wars and Advance Wars Black Hole Rising. And then uh, when I bought those eight Game Boy Advance games, I also did buy one DS game, and that was Days of Ruin, which I never owned, never played. I played all the other Advance Wars, though. Now I just need Dual Strike, and I sadly have all the Advance Wars games. It'd be nice if that got, uh, that got revived, but I doubt it. So sad. And the last four games are actually all Final Fantasy, which is pretty funny. Uh, but here you have Tactics Advance. I absolutely love this game. Such a good game. I feel like it's an underrated Final Fantasy game. And then here's arguably uh, the greatest Final Fantasy game. I can't vouch for that. I can't agree nor disagree. Because I've never played 6, unfortunately. But uh, this was another one of the uh, more expensive games. Oh, I lied. There's one more game. I forgot. It's my modded Game Boy Advance. Which I found out the other week is Glow in the Dark. And I didn't even, re I didn't even know that. Like when I purchased it, I didn't know it was Glow in the Dark. That, that just made it even cooler. And then this is the last game I bought from uh, a GameStop store, and that's uh, Final Fantasy V Advance. That's a game with uh, Bart's. And then, of course, I had to get my favorite Final Fantasy game on the Game Boy Advance. Even though I did own it, own it on the Super Nintendo, we sold that many years ago. I was sad. And I have it on PC along with After Years. That's uh, Final Fantasy IV. And I do want to get the DS version as well. Or that one's a little bit different, plus I believe you have the cutscenes and whatnot, and the voice acting, I'm pretty sure. And then finally, the last game. Most expensive uh, Game Boy Advance game I ever bought. With my pro discount, this was $62 on GameStop's website. But I'm, had, I'm very happy to have a legitimate version of this. And that's uh, Pokemon Emerald. Uh, when I did record a video for... Um, when I got uh, my... Game Boy Advance games from GameStop's website. 
Funny story, I recorded all the times I ever got them through the mail, but I just got interrupted so many times during them. Even a previous recording of this, before I left to go for guitar practice, I got interrupted by a phone call from my mom, but it actually worked in my favor because um, one of the F-Zero games I couldn't find and then it was actually on the floor in the basement next to my backpack. Uh, but how you can tell this is a legitimate version, I was worried because I didn't see... Um, those number, like a number, like you can see on this Fire Emblem, that 34. Yeah, this one didn't have that, so I was a bit worried, but, or a little bit worried, but I saw it has like the uh, cracked, shattered gas, uh, glass, foil, cracked, gas, the uh, crystal slash shattered glass foiling, whatever you want to call it, on the cartridge. So I knew right away, I'm like, okay, this is probably a legitimate version. And then when I booted it up, it said batteries run dry. However, uh, the, the batteries want, the battery has run dry. The game can be played. However, clock based events will not occur. So that didn't bother me. That's a message you don't have to worry about. A lot of uh, games do say that. Uh, so that is uh, pretty much it. That is my entire Game Boy Advance game collection minus Sacred Stones. Hopefully, hopefully I can find that. But honestly, that is why there was no manga haul for August. I might put that on hold as well, too. Uh, just because I want to get my mangas... I want to get all my mangas in at least one or two uh, storage boxes. That way I know where they are until I eventually do get a new uh, bookshelf. So I'm going to put those on hold. In the meantime, I'm still going to continue getting Game Boy Advance games. I know which games I want to get next from GameStop. I could have gotten uh, the WarriorWare game on Game Boy Advance and Yoshi's Island had I traded in uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee because I absolutely hated that game. But I asked my friends if I could transfer Pokemon into uh, Sword and Shield and they said yes. And then me forgetting that we're getting like a new Pokemon Bank-like type service for the Switch. So I'm like, all right, I guess I'll keep it. Like, yeah, I guess I can, uh, you know, I still don't have Mel Metal, so I guess with Pokemon Go as well. Even though I don't play that religiously, like, handful of my friends. But anyway, uh, so there's that. Um, that Vanguard uh, case I was supposed to be, uh, case split I was supposed to be part of, actually, that never even happened on Friday. Like, I, I was worried, like, oh, are they, are they going to be upset I went to a concert instead? My god, was that concert awesome. Went to Knotfest at a PNC Bank Art Center in Holmdale, New Jersey with uh, one of my friend Chris. One of my friends, Chris. That sounds weird. I don't know why. Uh, not the one you've seen in uh, uh, videos, a different friend. And uh, we missed Behemoth, but we didn't care. Gojira is pretty cool. I'm now a Gojira fan after that concert. Even though they played like, what, seven songs. I mainly wanted to go for Volbeat, not Slipknot, and uh, Volbeat was amazing. A 12-song set list was not enough. I wanted more. And Slipknot was crazy. I wasn't really, like, the biggest Slipknot fan. Now I like more and more of their music. But, oh, God, were those mosh pits crazy. I was in a couple for Volbeat. Slipknot ones were just too crazy for me to get into. I was more defending. And, oh, man, my back the day after the concert. Oof. <laughs> Still had an awesome time, though. No posters. They didn't sell any posters. Did get a Volbeat shirt, though. You guys know me, I like to show off when I get like a poster or something um, from concerts. I would show my Dave Matthews Band posters, but I don't have the one from 2018 framed yet. So once I have that framed, I'll show that off. And then I got to get a 13, 14, and 15. I sadly did not see Dave Matthews Band this summer because for some reason they didn't go to PNC Bank. And I hate going to, um, hate going to Camden for concerts. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. One last thing I wanted to mention, don't worry, I'm still going to do those uh, Vanguard and the one Final Fantasy deck profile I promised you guys. Uh, you can look forward to that. I forget what time I'm working tomorrow. If I'm not working in the office, then when I get home from work, which should be around 2.30, I can record and upload uh, one of those uh, tomorrow. Uh, the, the goal is to upload all those, or I meant record all of those, which I could have done today, but... Got a little too lazy, plus I wanted to beat Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, finally. I'm stuck on uh, Shadow Queen. I have no game overs yet, but it's just the part when she has the left and right hands. I'm like, how, how do I do damage to you? 
I'm like, not even art attack did damage to you. Yeah? Anyway, enough of me rambling on. I'll just send the video here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.